Feature Cam 2015 now has the ability to manage multiple part catchers on a turn mill machine. Examples of machines with multiple part catchers are the Nakamura WT150, NTJX and NTMX, which have part catchers for the main spindle and a separate part gripper for the subspindle. This is supported through the use of a user-defined feature and custom format. So the first thing I'm going to do is load in my multiple part catchers add-in. I'm going to navigate to my add-ins folder and I can see the part catcher located here. If I go to my add-in section within feature cam, I can simply drag and drop my add-in into the location like so. If I go to my part view, I can see we have some pre-created features for both the main spindle and the subspindle. Now in the first instance, I simply want to simulate the use of a part catcher on the main spindle. I'm subsequently going to turn off a slug transfer uh, and my subspindle features and leave just a face, turn, groove and cutoff. If we go into the cutoff, we can see under the strategy we're using a part catcher. So I'm going to go ahead and run a machine simulation. We have our initial face. We then do our turning operations, we then have our grooving operation, and finally we position the turret for the cutoff. We then step into the material like so. We then see the part catcher comes into position. We then complete the cutoff operation, part falls into the part catcher, and the part ca catcher retracts like so. Now if we look towards the subspindle, if we wish to use a part catcher for the subspindle, we can see we have this part gripper, and we can control this with the use of a user-defined feature. So I'm going to turn off my cutoff feature and turn on my slug transfer. I'm also going to turn on my subspindle processes and I'm going to recreate my part catcher user defined feature. So I'm going to come to my feature wizard, select a user defined feature. As I've loaded in my add in, I can see it like so. And then I have a parameter to fill out, which is the arm grab distance. And this is the distance from the part gripper itself to the face of the subspindle. So at this stage I can say finish. If I look to my turret view, I'm just going to position my part catcher in the correct location like so. I can then go ahead and rerun my machine simulation. So I'm turn the simulation speed right down. So we have our initial three features, the face, groove. We then have a slug transfer. We then turn on the subspindle and eject with our part catcher or part gripper like so.